Algebra 2, 1.2b, division of real numbers, positive and negative, and a multiplicative inverse. A multiplicative inverse is just a reciprocal. It's the upside down version of a fraction. It's just flipped around, see? Two is on top, now two is on bottom. When we multiply a number by its reciprocal, we get a one. So one third, if we flip the one third around to three over one, we're gonna get three over three as the numerator and denominator. When the numerator and, numerator and denominator are the same, we get a one. And the property of multiplicative inverses says for each non-zero number a, there's exactly one number b that we can multiply a times b and it'll equal a one. If we have a two, we can flip this upside down as a one half because two can be written as two over one, can't it? And it's reciprocal as one half, it's multiplicative inverse. So we get two over two, which is equal to one. And to find the reciprocal of a number, we can divide one by that number. We make one the numerator. So take a look at this. To divide, we can multiply by the multiplicative inverse, the reciprocal. So this division theorem says for all real numbers a and b, as long as b is not zero, a over b is the same thing as a times one over b. See that? So to find the reciprocal of a number, we divide one by that number, we make one the numerator. Sorry about the focus there. So to divide a by b, we multiply a by the reciprocal of b. So the re if b were a seven, that could be a seven over one, couldn't it, if it was just a regular number? And we would flip that around to one seventh. See, that's all they're saying. See how these compare to each other? We had two sevenths, and it's the same thing as two times one seventh. So remember, all fractions are little division problems. The reciprocal of five is one fifth or two tenths because the five can be written as a five over one. We flip it around to one fifth and we get five over five, that's a one. When the number's already written as a fraction, we can just invert flip the fraction. That's even easier. Two sevenths is seven halves, that makes 14 over 14, which is a one. When our number's a negative, its reciprocal is also negative. It stays negative. Negative two sevenths, the reciprocal be, would be negative seven halves. We'd get a negative times a negative, which makes a positive, and we'd get a 14 over a 14, so we have a positive one. The division and multiplication are inverse operations. The quotient a over b, that's a divided by b, right? When b is not a zero. Well, that's gonna equal a c. And we could do the reverse and do c times the b and get the a. So when dividing real numbers, we divide the absolute values and we use the same rules for the signs as in multiplication. If we have a positive over a positive, that's gonna make a positive. If we have a negative over a negative, those are like signs, so we still get a positive. When we have a positive over a negative, then we're gonna have a negative, and if we have a negative over a positive, we're gonna have a negative because they're unlike signs. So take a look at this one. We've got a positive 12 over a negative two. Those are unlike, so we're gonna have a negative six for an answer. And for this one, they're both positive. We have one fourth divided by three fifths. These are like signs. We're gonna flip this three fifths around to its reciprocal five thirds, and we're gonna multiply straight across as five twelfths. And it's positive because they're like signs. See, like signs are positive, unlike signs are negative. If we have a negative two thirds divided by one fourth, we're gonna flip this one fourth around to be four over one and multiply it and they're unlike signs because we have a negative and a positive, so our answer is gonna be a negative, and we multiply straight across as eight over three. We have a negative and a negative, those are like signs, negative 9.3 divided by negative three is a positive 3.1. So like signs are positive, unlike signs are negative. When we have something like two and a half, like a whole number, with a fraction, a mixed number, we can turn it into an improper fraction, like two, like five over two, see, five halves. And its reciprocal is going to be two fifths. So just turn it into an improper fraction and then flip it around, okay? And remember an absolute value is how far a number is from zero on the number line. So when it's said that we're dividing real numbers, we divide the absolute values. 
just take away the signs, do the division, and then follow these rules to know what the quotient's going to be. All right? Like signs are positive, unlike signs are negative. And dividing by a real number is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal, its multiplicative inverse. And fractions are just little division problems. 5 tenths is the same thing as 5 divided by 10. All right? So our next video is 1.2c. We're going to talk about division and zero. If you want links to our previous videos that we just did for chapter 1, they're in this description. You can just click on them. All right? Okay. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you're enjoying Algebra 2 so far. This is all just one big review right now, but we're adding extra stuff, so it might be important to watch these videos. Even though you think you may know things, I'm going to throw some new stuff in and go a little bit deeper into Algebra, okay? See you next video. Bye.